little joke? Sure. What did uh, What did the guy from the future say to the guy from the past? I don't know. The guy from the future? The guy of the past? You know what he said? What did he say? How are things back there? from the past. Did you ever take a, a history class like in school? Just just one. Yeah, yeah, me too. You know, they say that history is written by the Victorians, which basically means that uh, you know, the people who are telling the tales of human history are biased. And I've often been interested in trying to find out, you know, the real truth. Like, if there's one thing about me, it's that I, I want to sort of get to the, the root of things. So I actually went a couple of years ago to Japan and uh, took a few courses with one of the masters there. And one of the things that you can do, and one of the things that they can teach you, is, is sort of these secret arts of being able to, um, you know, do martial arts and, and fly and control your own heartbeat, lots of different things, slow down time, and even travel through time, through different periods of time. So, you know, a little demonstration? Yeah, sure, why not? You got a particular moment in history that you'd like? I can, I can go and tell you something, like if you need any information. You need to see. How about you go and find the dinosaurs? The dinosaurs? You got a particular period you're interested in? <laughs> Cretaceous? Jurassic? Jurassic 5? Jurassic 1? Jurassic 2? Sure, sure, any of those are fine. Jim? That was a close one. What, what just happened? It's just, uh, well, the dinosaurs, right? They're, they're fairly dangerous. I, I try not to go back and tussle with them. Uh, but me and Jeff Goldblum, we had a little bit of a run in with a, a Velociraptor. We had a Jeep, too. Jeep Grand Cherokee. He had a tourniquet wrapped around his leg because um, he'd, he'd been hurt earlier by a, a dinosaur. And he was like, Drive, drive! He's a mathematician sent to test the viability of the park. That's that's from that's from Jurassic Park. No, they sent Jeff Goldblum and me to see if it was a viable amusement. Where's Jeff Goldblum now? He didn't make it. One of the really nice things about my ability to time travel is not just being able to go back and, and see different time periods, uh, but also to, to take things with me. Like I can take things from the present and bring them to different time periods, or vice versa, which is good if you want to bring your friends back souvenirs and things, or if you're into antiques. Um, is there anything you're particularly interested in? that I could, I could go and pick up for you? Because this is like running to the store for me, basically. Like going to the store? Yeah, it's like going for a, you know, like a malted milk or whatever. Sure. At the corner, oh, at oh. the convenience store. How it's just would, like I can pick anything up. How would you bring me back something from, from, I don't know, 18th century, 18th century Europe? Uh, from 18th century yeah, Europe? Yeah, so, something from my living room. Can you bring me back Your something Your living room from, needs some 18th, okay.
Jim. Jim? Well, 18th century Europe is very nice. Uh, the Queen sends her regards. So, um, what, what, what did you bring back from her? What's my souvenir? Oh, um. <coughs> the Black Plague. One of my main sources of income these days is actually working as a fact checker, but the, the edge that I've got on most fact checkers, historical fact checkers, is that I don't need any sort of reference materials because I can just, you know, go see firsthand uh, what happened. Now it's, it's my responsibility not to, not to mess anything up in the past, like I don't want to alter the timeline, but I have, I have sort of abilities that most, most fact checkers don't have. And one of my biggest clients um, recently has been actually, you know, the church, getting a lot of calls from the Pope. Uh, they want to sort of verify things uh, that happen in, in the Bible. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know if you've got, like, if this is going to interfere with what you're doing here, but I kind of have, I, I'm on a bit of a deadline. Do you mind if I, I just have to go. Okay. All right, it, it won't seem, it, it's, it'll, it'll be like that, okay? Sure. Jim! J Jim! Where, where did Some you go? Gripping stuff. What, what just happened? Where did you go? I just witnessed the passion of the Christ. You witnessed what? The Passion of the Christ. And actually, did you see the, the Mel Gibson movie? Yeah. Because it was a lot like that. He was there uh, riding in on a horse like this. And he reached behind his back and took out the axes and went like that. <laughs> Usually when people find out that I can do this, the first question that comes up is, can you go not only back, but can you go forward into the future? And my answer is no. Across the board, no. Because the minute, and I've made this mistake before, the minute somebody finds out that you can go into the future, which I can, they want to know stuff about themselves. They want to know stuff about their future. They want to know, am I going to be happy? Am I going to have kids? Am I going to get married? Am I going to, you know, lead a fulfilling life? Or am I going to, you know, die a miserable old man? Josh. So I just say no. I mean, it's, it's too much of a burden on me. It's not good for people to know their, their inevitable destiny. I don't want to put that kind of stress on somebody. But, but let's say. No, I. Let's let's say yeah. I asked you, you know. No. Go go a couple of weeks. I don't. Into the future, check out the stocks, you know, see what's looking good. Come back, you know, we split it 50-50. You got some capital? I I got some. You got some. Well, I've got the tip, so you got the. Yeah. Capital, right? Yeah. 50-50? Yeah, you find, you find something good. Gil would know. You figure like yeah, he's, two he's weeks? He's a stock broker. Two weeks? Yeah, tell, tell me how it's looking in two weeks. Alright. Jim? 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 What? What are you wearing? I went in the future. So? This is what they wear. 
helps protect you from the, you know, the radiation and stuff. And yeah, now. But it's pretty crazy, you know, like the hover cars, the jet packs. <laughs> Transportation is a lot more modern in the future. You went two and weeks we into the future. Pills, pills for everything. You don't eat food at all. It's nutritional supplements injected into your bloodstream or in pill form. You went two weeks into the future. That's... Okay, so what did you find out? You got it? Yeah, please. Gil says that dot com is a very hot property uh, and that if you're looking to do some investing it would be uh, buy 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 up until and then you sell 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 that's what he says he says some major stuff's happening all right so we'll we'll get um, we'll get some Not shares now make a killing on this. Yeah. Thanks. You know what, my friend? Well, I'll see you in the future.